What's up, Virgo? Love forecast for you guys for what's coming in in the first two weeks of August. That's August 1st through to the 15th. This is for my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and for the cross watchers. If you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment. And if you're new to my channel, I put these out every two weeks, so don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can keep up with me as I do. Also guys, I do offer personal readings and all the info for that is in the description box of the video. Okay, let's get started. Spirit, what's coming in please for my Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the area of love, first half of August. Any love messages for my Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, first half of August? What can you tell my Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus is coming in for them in the area of love, first half of August? Okay, feels good, guys. Ace of Cups, King of Pentacles, Two of Wands, the Sun card. Six of Swords, beautiful. Okay, Virgo, Ace of Cups and you love beginnings for you, okay? Two of Wands means you're at a bit of a crossroads. You might have a choice to make, how you wanna move forward, um, but making the plan to move ahead, okay? So I do feel like there's a particular connection that maybe you're not sort of there yet. You haven't moved towards that commitment stage, but I do feel that you're moving forward for some kind of a like new love beginning with a person here. And a King of Pentacles, you know, this is either you and your masculine energy or you're dealing maybe with another earth sign or otherwise this is about you moving forward onto a new love that's very committed, okay? King of Pentacles is a solid commitment. It's also you making decisions that are very wise for you for the long term, okay? Someone's seeing you as a wise decision for the long term and you could be vice versa as well, okay? Because the sun card is happiness. I feel like you have a very happy new beginning ahead of you um, in the first two weeks of August. Um, Maybe you're moving away from a difficult time. Six of Swords, maybe that's the Two of Wands energy. You're at that crossroads. Maybe you're just making a decision to leave the past behind or to leave a connection behind that wasn't working for you to move forward for something really, really happy, okay? With the Sun card, you could be dealing with the Leo. We've also got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag. We've got the Judgment card and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, Virgo, you're deciding to cut something away that's not working for you anymore. Queen of Swords, she's discerning. She knows how to make cuts. Judgment card is decisions. It's also realizations. I think you're having an awakening within yourself about what's going to be right for you, what serves you. So whilst I think you have someone that you're connected to, you're moving forward with now, it's requiring you to cut ties with something that isn't working. So you, you could be dealing, like I said, with a past energy, or maybe you have two energies in front of you, but one, you feel like it's time to cut away and cut out so you can move forward with something that's more aligned and more of a wise decision for the long term. Okay, um, Queen of Swords, she also speaks her truth. So there could be conversations happening um, between you and a person in the first two weeks of August um, to the effect of decisions being made um, with the Two of Wands, making plans to move ahead, okay? With the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Swords, I am the king of cups so we do have two kings on the table so for some of you you're dealing with a couple of energies um, and for others of you you know this is sort of you trying to make a decision judgment card queen of swords um, with the heart okay and moving towards someone that you feel committed to but also that emotionally satisfies you king of cups so this is someone that's emotionally mature someone that's in touch with their feelings um, you are heavily burdened and there is stress here with the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Perhaps you are cutting out a connection. I keep getting, um, they keep telling me this is like a past connection and now you have an opportunity in front of you, but the past is sort of still playing um, a role in the present. I think you're realizing that Virgo because there is a burdensome history here. I feel that you maybe were in love Virgo. Maybe you gave a lot to a particular person and you feel like you were carrying the full weight of a connection. And now you're sort of, you're deciding that you're going to cut out ties either with a person that was disappointing you in the present um, or cut ties with the past so you can move ahead with this new opportunity, okay? Um, but there is a bit of stress and anxiety, you know, maybe you're having difficulty trusting this new opportunity um, and that's why you've been at a crossroads. But as I said, I think you are moving forward, Virgo. I think you're moving away from difficulty, six of swords for happy new beginnings with the sun. Okay, because you've been stuck to a swords, Virgo, and you have an ace of pentacles, queen of pentacles. My God, that guys, you can't make it up. You've been stuck to a swords and maybe not moving forward towards this opportunity for commitment that's presenting itself. Someone that is your match, king and queen of pentacles, Virgo. 
okay someone that's seeing you as their match and someone that they see as um, someone they see as someone they want to commit to okay you've been stuck I think Virgo because you've been like I don't know either there's stress anxiety or like memories from the past or there's a lingering person that's kind of had you a little bit unsure what you wanted and how to move forward okay so I do feel like this crossroads energy has had someone feeling left out in the cold five of pentacles um, so you could have been leaving this this person out in the cold because you're sort of not sure um, or you're leaving this person you're still connected to out in the cold so you can move forward with this new committed beginning this happiness that's in front of you um, but yes you're you're having a happy new beginning either way two aces right ace of cups and ace of pentacles so not just new love but something really solid and committed okay virgo um, i'm just going to get some i'll get some psychic oracles psychic oracles please for virgo truth yes so this is about you tapping into your truth queen of swords speaking your truth honoring what's right for you who's going to make you happy what's not working what you need to leave behind to move forward okay you could be speaking your truth to someone that you're deciding to cut ties with as i said virgo um or this is truth between you and a person that you're moving forward with you know about like feelings and commitments and the direction ahead okay heart chakra yes making decisions with your heart virgo as i said um and solitude yeah okay so this is you taking a bit of time out this is you showing up in your own read it's hermit energy um it's also a nine card closing out old cycles leaving behind what doesn't resonate for you okay knowing that you deserve happiness and you deserve love um so you are taking some time out to do some soul searching maybe that's why you've left a current person in the cold while you make a decision um you know um but trying to get some answers right about what's right for you the light but you're going to get that those answers light is illumination it's also to me like a happy new beginning you're coming out of a dark period into the light um i'll get one more for you and then i'll get a romance angel yes triumph okay so you are coming unstuck this is chariot energy virgo so this is about positive movement forward steering your life in the direction of your desires and um, you could be dealing with a cancer it's very strong cancer energy this is movement forward coming unstuck also you could be dealing with someone that loses a distance that's just for some of you um but i feel you are moving okay you're moving forward towards happiness virgo let me get your romance angel romance angel please for virgo let your friends help you ask ask for and accept support from others so you could be taking some time out um, or talking to friends right getting some advice from friends or just wanting to focus on you spending time with friends at the moment while you kind of make decisions for yourself love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive i think that's a lesson that you've learned virgo from your past experiences and um, speaking your truth is an act of loving yourself okay so um, that can be either directly speaking your truths to people or like speaking your truth by embodying your truth meaning not entertaining what's not right for you um, you know knowing that you actually deserve love and loving yourself first and foremost okay because I do feel like Virgo there were situations or a particular situation that you were carrying all the weight maybe you were putting in all the effort um, you know pouring into someone else's cup and not getting back so you learn to love yourself first is very important because you can't pour from an empty cup yeah express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture yeah but i do feel like someone is riding towards you with the chariot card or coming in to have conversations with you and express their love um because there's a commitment on the table here all right whoops one more yeah deception someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship i think though with all this stuff around truth and deception it's like either you are or were dealing with someone that was deceptive and you're now cutting ties to move forward with something happy um, or you're in a situation where you're not speaking your truth about your feelings right um, and so you're wearing kind of a mask because maybe there's some fears that are interfering with you and, and a particular like uh, connection which could be quite happy but maybe you're sort of self-sabotaging um, all right anyway take it as it resonates Virgo um, I hope that it did and you can give me a like and a comment as I said and I will check in with you in two weeks time okay lots of love